Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. My name is George and in today's video we're going to talk about how to use PDF Element to create an automated invoice template. In today's global business environment, groups such as freelancers, small business owners and online sellers face a constant need to create and send invoices to receive payments. The top priority is to create proficient and automated invoice templates that cater to their dynamic needs. While many opt for using Excel to design invoice templates, a notable drawback is that before emailing the invoice to the client, we need to convert the Excel sheet to a PDF. Why not simplify the process by skipping the Excel phase and directly using PDF for creating automated invoice templates? The automated invoice template often requires a built-in calculation formula. At this Excel template, when I enter the necessary data, like description, quantity, unit price, discount, tax rate, shipping cost, the sheet will calculate the balance that is due. You may have wondered how do we make a PDF document calculate? I'm going to show you exactly how to create a PDF form with calculations. To save time, I recommend finding a professional invoice template instead of creating one from scratch. You can visit highpdf.com where you'll find a template option offering numerous professional and well-designed invoice templates, most of which are free. The color design of this template is fantastic, so I've decided to use it to create an automated invoice. Simply click the download button and the invoice template will be saved to my device. Afterwards, I will use PDF Element to open it. The header information doesn't match my company details. I'll use the edit tool to rectify this, updating the logo image, company name, adjusting the address, phone number, email, and website accordingly. Press the control button to select all unnecessary text fields and delete them. Here is the form sheet that I need. For each instance, the invoice details, person, number, and date will vary. I will use the fillable form function, which can customize information according to my needs. Go to the form tab and choose the text fields for the invoice person information area and the invoice number area. Regarding the date, I will choose the date field. Modify each field's name as per the content. Right click and access properties and input the relevant name. Diverse areas sport distinct date formats. Ensure alignment with your client's preferences. Navigate to the format section and choose from the date options. Observe the example display to make sure the format is what you need. To the invoice content description part, add a text field to the first box and change the name to item description one. However, there are four more description boxes that need to be added. Here is a quick way. Avoid adding the text fields one by one. Right click the first text field, find create multiple copies of fields, then a pop-up panel will appear. You can use this panel to add the same boxes to the sheet. Adjust the space of the fields or reposition all fields. Here I decrease the across field number to one. Add down field number to five times. The vertical interval increases to 0.87 centimeters. All item description boxes have been added perfectly. Concerning the text field in the unit price column, clarity is key for clients to grasp individual item prices along with their respective currencies. Head to the format area and opt for the number category. For number options, select two decimal places, the first separator style and USD as the currency symbol. When crafting your form box, feel free to adjust the settings to your preference. We can apply the same process to add text boxes to the quantity column. The final column pertains to the total value of each item. First, add the text field to the box. Change its name to total price one, and the format is the same as the unit price column. However, this number should be the unit price times the quantity. How can the form calculate this number automatically? Right click the total price box, go to the properties section and find the calculate option. You'll see choices for sum, product, average, minimum, maximum of the selected fields. In this instance, choose product. Now open the pick button to select the unit price one and quantity one. Use the create multiple copies of fields function to bulk create the remaining total price boxes. However, the calculation format is the same as the first one. So we need to change the selected fields one by one. Here, our fillable invoice form is complete. Now I input numbers into the unit price and quantity boxes. 
and the total price column will display the total value automatically and accurately. Let's proceed to set up the remaining calculating fields located at the bottom. We aim to configure our subtotal, referred to as amount subtotal, to accumulate the total of all amounts in the invoice. We are going to add a text field to it. Change the name to amount subtotal, format that one as a number with two decimal places and a currency symbol. For the calculation, we can use the value as the sum and then we can select all of the total price fields. Right click on amount subtotal and use the create multiple copies of fields function to efficiently generate text fields for the rows below. Change the field names accordingly. For the tax rate, we can approach this differently. If we open the properties of the tax rate and navigate to the format tab, there is an option to set it as a percentage. Keep in mind that whatever number you enter here will be multiplied by 100. For a discount, we will use a flat amount. We can format this as a number. Two decimal places, the separator style, and the currency symbol keep the same as the other fields. If you want to underline the negative number style, we can use a red text to differentiate the number. Let's go to the home view. Enter a negative number to the discount field. You will see the number show in red. Finally, the due total field is determined by adding the amount subtotal to the tax amount and subtracting the discount number. Note that the discount is entered in negative format. So the formula becomes due total equals amount subtotal asterisk brackets one plus tax slash VAT close brackets plus discount. You can see this formula is a little more complex compared to the sum and product calculated in the previous fields. In this case, we can use the simplified field notation. Go to edit, it will pop up a text box, input the formula ensuring the field name aligns with the form for accurate detection by the PDF. Now, let's test our form. Navigate to the Home tab, input the unit price and quantities, the total price for each item, and subtotal functioning correctly. Next, input the tax rate and a discount amount into the respective fields. All calculations work perfectly in the fillable invoice template. For text color of the due total, we can go to the appearance settings and change it to white, matching the color of the text. If you have saved the file and need to fill out a new form, simply go to the form tab, more options, choose recover default data. If you have a large team with several team members, you can also add a text field to the responsible person area. Now we have the file automated invoice template. If you don't want to highlight the fields, just click on the highlight fields button at the top to hide them. Now, let's fill out this invoice from the top. The invoice person, invoice number, create date, item description, unit price, quantity, tax rate, discount number, the name and signature. Once it is done, go to the share PDF. And there are three ways to share this invoice with the client. If you need to create a bulk of invoice or other materials that require calculations, try using PDF Element to craft an automated and calculated form. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll continue bringing you many more videos with tips and tricks to make your work easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you will find more helpful videos just like this one. Have a great day and see you next time.